Hello and welcome to my legs workout. Now, I don't claim to have brilliant legs either, but uh, so I'm going rem 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 to remind you <laughs> to do what I do. Make notes, make progress, have a little notepad and write down all the little exercises that you're going to do and then the weight that you lifted or the weights you lifted on that day. So uh, for when I was lifting legs light because it's a light day and there's a heavy day light day is 8 to 16 reps heavy day is 4 to 8 reps so um when i was doing let's see the first exercise is deadlift second exercise is the sumo squat then we have leg extensions lying leg curls calf raises and then the abductor and abductor no idea how i'm going to do those um at home, but those two abductor and adductor I actually put on the end, they weren't actually originally part of the uh, routine that I found from the lovely Brian Turner. Check him out on YouTube, great guy, inspiration. Actually, when I go to the gym, I start with a warm up and I do the steps for you know the step machine, do that for five minutes just to get warmed up, and then I go straight in to the deadlift. Starting with a lighter weight and then um, adding on the weights. With almost every exercise that we, I do, squeezing shoulder blades together really does help and it makes sure that I do not cause myself any injury, especially when doing deadlifts. I like to, um, so when I start with a deadlift, this is just for you to observe the distance my feet are placed apart and I just slightly squat down. And I squeeze my shoulder blades together, and then let's just show you from here. So I've got two dumbbells, but normally it's a barbell. You can do it with dumbbells, it works the same, I'm sure. Um, I'm squeezing shoulder blades together as I can, and then lift up to here, and then all the way. <laughs> Back is straight. I'll show you the back in a moment. <sighs> Breathe out. Because it's important. Let's make it even sit a bit closer together. <sighs> this is the deadlift. So just wanted you to see this angle. Before I move it to a better angle, so you can see what my back is doing. So many people do um, this thing in the gym where they get to the top of the movement and then they do this and they tell me they're engaging the legs and I'm like everybody else on YouTube says that puts a lot of weight so you've got the weight there and it puts the weight on that lower spine which is not good so once you uh, so you pick up the weight, shoulder blades, if you can, I, I find it really just, it's, it's in my mind all the time, the shoulder blades, straight back, and lift, get to here, and that's it, you're in the top of the movement, you just, oh yeah, and you're finding your, your kind of flexed core, And then slowly lower the weight back down. And drop them back onto the floor. Because it's a deadlift. They do touch the floor. Breathe. So what you see when you're looking in the mirror, it's always helpful to have a mirror, I'm looking at the camera on the phone. So, do not do that. Gosh, yeah, I've even seen personal trainers do it. May, maybe know what they're doing, maybe not. The next exercise is the sumo squat. Sumo meaning the 
gonna be like boom, boom, token powder, yeah, kind of sumo squat, dude, squatting. Actually, this is a good stretch to a uh, <laughs> dumbbell. This is a good stretch <laughs> to uh, before you actually do your leg exercises. Shoulder blades, back straight, pushing, pushing apart. Anyway, so yeah, it's a good stretch to begin with. Let's see if we can demonstrate what our legs are doing. <laughs> uh, so normally, where the sumo squat, you'll have the barbell. Rest it on the back, on your back, and you come down, and you push up. But I only have dumbbells, so that's just how I'm doing it. Breathe in, breathe out. And come down, I like to come down this height. And back up. Breathe in. Shoulder blades together. What I found helpful actually practicing these because I've never found squats really are my thing. And uh, helps to have the bench or a seat to sit back down on so not not to uh rest, but just for your bum to touch the seat, for some reason, just having that just really helps with my, my form, it's like your bum has to stick out to touch, whatever, there, that was the sumo squat. Next exercise. Leg extensions. And you sit, you adjust the seat so that the uh, the foam thing is just about there. And as another great YouTuber says, uh, Vic Natural, Vic Kosler, I think his name is, yeah. He uh, says you perform these exercises really slowly with a light weight and you should be able to move your ankles around. It's that easy as you're doing the leg extension with both legs or one leg at a time and uh, so if you're in the gym <laughs> I can't really demonstrate but your both legs will be doing this really good to hold in the flex position remember and breathe out it's actually <laughs> you can uh, do it on the edge of a chair but maybe put on the edge of my bed and uh, yeah that's good. If you just even hold your legs flexed like that. But if you really want to do this at home, I actually observed a guy doing this in the gym the other day. Um, and I hadn't actually uh, tried it myself before and I realized how good it is. So um, if I can get a better angle, let's see. So what he was doing, this really was good for working these. Um, feet together, perhaps. Let's see what works best for you. And so you can keep your shoulder blades together. It will make sure that your back is erect, which is good. But you're working these and you find that you just lean backwards. You'll find them engage. So breathe out as you flex, breathe in, and you really feel the wow, wow, <laughs> it's a really good exercise this one, yeah, as that really engages, let's see if you can, oh that's a strong exercise, moving on to the next one. And this is where the, uh, uh, the the video starts to look a bit ridiculous. Me on my bed, <laughs> demonstrating what this, uh, how it would look in the gym. You've probably seen people. They have. <laughs> I just want to fall asleep on the bed now. But they're doing 
this on that machine for the leg curl and <laughs> that part of the uh, machine is there. But how do you do this at home? <laughs> well, some people I've seen in the gym, I don't do this one actually. I, I do the machine by putting a dumbbell between your feet just so you can do this. Not so easy, let's see. <laughs> Maybe I can pick it up because it's light enough. There you go. Whoa, I did it. <laughs> just hold on for dear life to the bed now. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> That didn't work. Can I think of another one that will work? Let's see. In fact, this exercise, I feel, it's just about working these. Definitely working your ass. Um, not so much on these, but still. In fact, to work her hamstrings. That's it, I'm thinking the hamstrings. You can always do ouch lunges, foot on a bench maybe, so static lunges are good. Or, if you like, you can do alternating lunges. So calf raises, in the gym you'll have a, a really good seat, you have your feet on the edge of the platform as you lift the weight up. How do you do this at home? Holding dumbbells in the hands. Go up. Down. Curl your um, other foot around the other. And so you can do individual calf raises. And we'll switch once you've done. <laughs> Breathing! The abductors and the adductors. They've got nothing to do with abs or ads. <laughs> I think the machine is very self explanatory, as most of them are. The machine is doing it so that you're traveling. And. Clink! Remember. Ah, oh, don't be one of those people that goes clunk, clunk, slowly clunk, <laughs> clunk. Yeah, if you can lift the weight, make sure it's nice and slowly. Uh, how to do this? Well, at home, I would just, I would use my own my own arms to uh, so we say my legs want to move inwards. I would just hold my knees and just push. Try to squeeze my my knees together. <sighs> and it also gets a, an arm and shoulder workout. And if you want to do the reverse, then you have your knees together and you prevent them from moving outwards. You squeeze. But yeah, I'm sure there are other exercises that do those. And that concludes the workout. Time for a sh stretching. First stretch I like to do is to stretch the hamstrings. One one leg at a time. So yeah, one leg stretched, one straight, one stretching. You hold it for 30 seconds to stretch, pulling it close to your chest. If you feel more confident about it, stretching your leg. But I, I find this just this is good enough for me. And so switch legs and stretch. After this one, ooh, I like to move into the butterfly. <laughs> I say it's the butterfly if you have someone behind you in yoga and pushing down each other's knees. But yeah. Uh, just relax into this. Position, scoop 
good stretch here. And then after holding that one for 30 seconds, and then three, two, one, and you just feel the stretch coming all the way up here. So you're kind of hugging your knee. And the other one. 30 seconds each side. And then another good stretch after that. You of your, uh, so this is going to be for your hamstrings. Reach up, interlocking fingers, reach up, and then forward, and reach for your toes. Reach for your toes. You can do them individually, with one leg bent. Reach for the toes. Reach for the toes. Can you touch your toes? Can you touch your toes? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. That's for your uh, calves. And then, for this muscle here, or this muscle here actually, this, with this leg will be this muscle. So, in this position, so lean forward, grab your back foot, and just pull it up and you'll just feel the stretch here. 30 seconds, change legs. Lean forward, just balance. And feel the stretch coming up there. Remember, posture is also very important. You know, even when stretching, I like to Engage the shoulder blades and stay upright, even sucking in the torso, the belly. Yeah. <laughs> and there you have it! Brian Turner, great guy. Um, see him on YouTube. So, but this is my demonstration of the exercises that I followed from him. Uh, so it's exactly the same exercises on the, uh, of um, legs day, chest day, and back day. Just one day is heavy, one day is light. And um, the light days, again, eight to 16 reps for three to four sets. And on the heavy days, four to eight reps for three to four sets, depending on how you're feeling how you're progressing, and make sure that you're hydrating with some water. And, well, thank you for watching. Until next time, my beautiful friends and family, and everybody out there, all of you, take care.